found on the Yucatan Peninsula, Tulum is not only home to great beaches, lush jungles, and mine ruins, it's got a vegan scene too. I'm Eunice and I'm going to share what I ate during my trip to Tulum and some sites you need to see. Let's go! When arriving to Tulum, the city center is usually the first destination, so I had to take advantage and of course try one of the highest rated vegan taco spots. El Bajon Vegan Tacos has an extensive menu, a salsa bar, and a cute vegan shop next door. So I of course ordered three tacos, the chorizo, suadero, and mushroom chicharron. I topped them with green salsa, cilantro, and what was the verdict? Right across the street from El Bajon is Suculenta, another vegan restaurant. As soon as you walk in, you feel like you're walking into a homey kitchen and the patio in the back is super cute. They have a good tamal menu, so I got a Oaxacan style tamal and although the flavor was good, the masa was a bit stiff and not as soft as I was hoping, but I mean, I ate the whole thing anyway. Now the real reason you go to Tulum is for the coastal side. Just a 15 minute drive from the city center, you will arrive to the beachside hotel zone, which is where you want to stay for beautiful reasons like the sunrise. When walking along the hotel zone, the first thing you'll notice is how bougie these hotels look. One of the most popular hotels to visit is Azulik. I couldn't afford to stay here, so I did the next best thing. I went for breakfast. There's a $30 minimum to dine for breakfast. The vegan options were not the greatest, but let's be real, I came for the experience. Next, it was time for some adventures. All right, so first adventure, I'm gonna go and take an ATV up and down Tulum and to a cenote, one of the natural freshwater pools that's enclosed. For $100, you can rent an ATV for 25 hours, and this is the perfect way to explore the city of Tulum. My mom's gonna kill me when she finds out I did this. Sorry, mom. First stop was the Gran Cenote. Cenotes are water-filled sinkholes that are created when the roof of an underground cavern collapses. Now they're just really pretty pools with super clear water and you can even see bats in the caves. Next, it was time to hit the road again for the must-see ruins. Tulum was built to be a seaport fortress with steep ocean cliffs providing protection from the east because Tulum was once an important trading center for the Mayan world. From the top, you can see the best views of the beach that, of course, you need to visit after. But don't forget to grab a coconut on your way out. For dinner, it was time to enjoy at Hotel Ziggy's. I started with their jackfruit al pastor style dumpling with pineapple compote, serrano peppers, cilantro, onion, and ponzu sauce. The texture was so meaty and it was delicious. The next dish was the star. I got the risotto made with huitlacoche. Think of it as corn truffle. It's basically a natural organic corn fungus, but when prepared, it's a delicacy. I cannot get over how delicious this was. Oh, and you might also catch a show here. They also serve vegan chilaquilas for breakfast, so of course I went back. And you get to enjoy a view. These had beans, and I asked for more of that pumpkin seed de quesón because yum. And because life is nothing without dessert, I went to Aldo's Gelato for this amazing passion fruit gelato topped with chamoy. Last but not least, I had to check out one more bougie hotel restaurant, so I went to Nomad for a jungle entrance and Middle Eastern food. Overall, if you want a bougie, beautiful beach experience, Tulum needs to go on your vegan travel bucket list. 
If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you next time on Rated V. Thank you.